The increasing application of real-time capable deterministic industrial wireless LAN networks requires a consulting and test-intensive planning and commissioning phase. This is due to the very complex propagation properties of high-frequency radiation, especially within buildings. Electromagnetic radiation is more or less reduced when passing through non-conducting materials such as walls and ceilings. On the other hand, metallic objects reflect electromagnetic waves. This multiple propagation causes interferences and, as a consequence, partial cancellation of the wave depending on the location of the receiver. The Cinema E-Tool was developed by Cimatic Net to support you from the planning to the commissioning phase of an industrial wireless LAN. Cinema E supports you in the offer phase by means of a sales wizard and report generator for item lists. In the engineering phase by means of a simulator for the entire industrial wireless LAN infrastructure. In the commissioning and maintenance phase by means of a central configuration, documentation and up-download of all parameters into the Scalance W devices. In the simulation mode of Cinema E, you first model your environment, such as your building, as ground plan and stories. Then high frequency relevant obstacles, such as walls and areas with machines, are placed. In a second step, you define the location for the Scalance W access points and clients with suitable antennas. In the following simulation run, the Cinema E calculates the expected signal strength or the maximal possible data rate for the specified area. Using the graphic results, you can now detect the areas where the signal strength and the corresponding maximum data rate is no longer sufficient for a reliable deterministic industrial wireless LAN. In subsequent simulation runs, the placing of access points and clients, for example, can then be modified until the results correspond to the requirements. This enables you to reliably plan and commission even large and complex industrial wireless networks by means of Cinema E.